12 things, the same 12 things. Nigga been saying the same shit for an hour and a half. This how you know people crazy. The man been saying the same shit, Cobra, for an hour and a fucking half. Hitman came and updated us, gave us new information, left, came and went to a whole workout, and damn, they're probably finished at this point. What are we doing with the Deleuze and Coke following that shit, man? We got to get, like, listen, salute all the people at work that need some, your Amazon, whatever you're doing, and it's just boring, you're at, you're at the parking lot, and you need this shit. I get it. But for you motherfuckers that just doing this shit, my nigga ran me up here like, the man said the same shit, and he said what Hitman, Hitman had already counted everything he said. This nigga want to battle again. This nigga want to fight the ring. <laughs> I don't want to do nothing with this nigga. And then he said, you talking about Gerald didn't say, Gerald told you one thing. He said, Gerald just sent him a text message, like, saying that you, uh, he feel how you feel and all this and that. Like, bro, I mean, I understand how you feel. You got a right to feel that way. So it's like, damn, Gerald, you said I ask you, but don't nobody really want to be talking to a Hall of Fame potential nigga. Like, this ain't even supposed to be a nigga talking to you. This is so beneath a legend of the status of, like, bro, you just supposed to be a sponsor. I ain't never seen Harry. Shit, all I seen was Caffeine put out a statement, and they paid more motherfuckers than it. <laughs> Shit, I ain't seen Remy and nobody that paid more for Smack do this much just infiltrating with the people. That's a, that's one of the problems here, man. We heard the same fucking shit, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm definitely, when I say my shit, I'm getting out of here because that's how I sound sometimes. I apologize. If I sound like that, I'm sorry. I ain't going to lie, bro, because it, it's like it kill oh, your ears. Oh. Like, bro, you talking in circles, bro. Talking this you talking about that man on some battle rap shit like this was some Marvels versus DC shit. He wanted the friend. Well, of course, if you go on somewhere tw five times a year, you're going to eventually gain friends with niggas to be cool. Like, you was on some more like y'all was game banging. Folks, this, nah, this is entertainment. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, bro, you acting like y'all was really on some game banging shit. And niggas want to get cool with some option. I can't believe it. Nigga. No, bro, you was on the down slide because your plan was to be that nigga was ended early when clips clipped you on your head. So you became a little bit human. Niggas start playing with you like, hey, man, ain't lie. Shine them in that train. You talk about they to beat your ass. You got, what you call them hands no child you got choked. Hey, man, ain't lie. That, that, that shit was weird, nigga. I don't talk to them niggas, but you do. Like, what the fuck? They grown ass? Man, yeah, grown yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. That really sounded bitch. Like, when you come like, out, you don't talk to Beasley talk. now. You just was talking to Beasley a year before you got mad and went on with AIP when they didn't give you no deposit early. I call it niggas that, but that shit sounded real bitch like. Come on, bro. man, like, you on you you you. That's, that's female behavior. For you bro, to say like, you beat a man with the battle is an all time classic, and again he didn't have five of those same numbers type of battles since you. You ain't had another one. So we gotta understand who really who really want to war this shit, coach. Like, cause there was a lot of shit left from that big girl when on the shit. J.R. Smith, that was the that remix came that battle. That's when the remix started. We got to understand, bro. We let niggas just talk, bro. We let niggas talk with themselves into a Ferrari, folks. When a nigga really should be in a Cadillac. A nice car. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, Remy. Nice car. Let's see. <laughs> Are you hanging on that kick the dough shit in? I told y'all that's that claim of fame. But again, if none of them niggas, Midwest Miles and X Factor as well as Marv, Question them niggas being on the before of this nigga already had to been been kicking ass and traveling in it. But this is our claim of fame to let us in. Like two other niggas didn't go there. Like that's another part we skipped. We try to act like X Factor and Midwest Mouse, whether they won, lost the deal, whatever. They already had track, bro. And they faced giants. You went and faced the nigga we never seen again. That's another thing y'all don't bring up. Y'all act like he went and killed the dynamic giant on that corner, folks. We ain't never seen a battle from that nigga again. Hey. We ain't never seen a battle of that nigga before then. When the fake Ben Fool just do music? Come on, like, bro. This is what I'm trying to tell you. But we, how the fuck is that the significance when X Factor and what's it called? It came about a Rex and Lux on a on a, on a track. Marvin them had already brought Mook them to Detroit and all that. T Rex them and Midwest Mouth. I'm just saying, bro.
the story is so fucked up, and y'all will believe it in that way. That man in star shit, bro. It, it took it took leaps and bounds, like I say. Midwest Madhouse, more of that whole Detroit thing gotta be spoke of first. You could say I'm the main event. Get, you can't get more than me. Hell yeah, he get more than you because he's the draw. You might be the top nigga on the car because y'all was the first battle book, but once Hitman got on the car, you knew you went to co main event. Oh, oh, he, oh, niggas got more money? Come oh, on, bro. Him. You know he went to coke. That was some hating shit, bro. Ain't no I need because I'm the mad bitch. You know your homie is more hotter than you, bro. That ain't no, ain't no he because he, you already been paid. We want to add your mans and you know your mans is a bag, which potentially could be the main event. Yeah, so ain't nobody coming to see you all Again, time. when Hitman saying, Hitman already debunked a lot of this shit because he like, hey, you talking about this my first round I'm heating up. You think everything about a rap, folks. Like, you just, you don't understand this shit, bro. You're losing already. Because you talking about, you talking about your man's this and your man's that. Hitman like, bro. My bad, G. I heard me some sugar babies, Diva. Nah, no, but I got a, I got a, I got a serious... I got a serious question though. So you feel like if Aver didn't depict himself as like a villain and actually was cool with niggas, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of it was him conflict with niggas starting shit up. Like you feel like if he had a more of a positive image, bro. Well, what you gotta understand is this, bro. Or it still would have been the same. Think about, think about. You gotta think about this shit. Now we get into the battle rap, which we we like to use the term around battle rap. You had to be there because you can't any fan of battle rap. That didn't that, that that wasn't there for the moments of when the bills and all these niggas was coming in and be magic because be magic and clean them had to be a problem too for this Midwest shit to work. You gotta understand everybody that attached on had to mm -hmm. be who they said they was for this shit to work. Now, what you gotta understand is even when you said I kicked the door. You ain't start seeing shit going bad and wanting to be a rival. Fuck them niggas after you got killed by Clips. When you mm -hmm. got killed by Clips with the battles not coming out like that and Clips being in them, what, that was the first Summer Madness? Summer Madness won? Remember, Midwest Mouse, Charlie Clips, got a Charlie. I was supposed to run into Clips. This is all the city acts for. All that uh, battling them, Rex and all, talking about them on Undeniable TV, all that Dust Jackson shit in the parking lot with him and Hitman rapping together. Go watch this shit. This shit's still on YouTube, y'all. Go watch who the niggas they was shooting at. So, boom, when Hitman say, hey, bro, I was the first nigga they came looking for. I did Fight Club in St. Louis. Niggas already knew what was going on. Was Fight Club was a big thing for New York. They say Hitman won that. So when they call for me, nigga, I, my dreams, I got shit to go. So you know, Ver, what he do? Maximize, don't, fuck that. We got to go put on. Can't, can't blame him for that. Salute, Ver. But again, you win a battle of the nigga we don't even know no more. And we try to skip over the history like Marv, Quest, x Factor, and these niggas ain't already trekked and battled the Giants. You win and battled a pup. We never knew if he was good, bad, and different. He ain't got no history. SB ain't got no history like a Lux or a T-Rex or not a, or Fred the Godson or a Big L. Even with niggas, we probably, he ain't got it, Milo. So what significance of you killed a nigga that, that's like killing the, you was already the man where you from now. Again, what, what significance do it bring? That just opened it. But once you battle Mav, he battled Cortez, that same card. His battle with Cortez got more views than yours, slightly. Then Mav Hoffa, y'all was supposed to be bigger than Cortez and Hitman at that time. Mm. Think about it, your famous thing from that would probably be this when Verg got the fags off of. But you got Hitman with that man, what? I'm just saying, I was saying what? That's one of the biggest shits in battle route to this day. Tell me when I'm lying, Milo. Man, what? <laughs> yeah, you know what's going on on that same card. The boy, draw, the boy, once he get on the card, draws, say, I get paid than everybody or more than everybody on this card, bro. The number, if we going by numbers, because think about it. What they pay you in the NBA by, Milo? What they pay you in the NBA by? What do you get paid in the NBA by? The, the uh, niggas I mean, that make perform, the big... Performance, performance. And performance, what performance sure. is calculated in? Performance. And, 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 and also, what else, like, all the other intangibles you bring to the table not just performance okay also, excitement the highlight the popularity also, that's that's strong that's strongly it's strongly 
It's strongly based on performance, though. Okay, yeah. cool. Because a nigga can't be Michael Jordan without the numbers. I don't give a fuck how much you like this shoe. He not Mike if he want killing thirties, putting his tongue out. You already know, getting wild. He not so again. We try to base this shit off subjectivity and off this. If it's based off their numbers, the analytics, the same shit. Free the way, my man. Love to talk them numbers. Numbers, man. Fuck what you talking about. What about these numbers? Since I've been, I'm just saying, my low. What's the anything we do is about numbers, bro. It's a, in television. What they care about the numbers and what, Marlo? The ratings. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? They say, when they when they get to the numbers, and they but 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 is that is that true for Marlo? Hey, Marlo, Marlo. Because there's some yeah, because like you know one thing. Shit, they talk that shit well. Yeah, listen. But you know one thing. Mike got six rings. And they always gonna lose to that. Even though Bill Russell got eleven, they never care about that eleven, folk. They care about that dynamic six. You know why? Cause dude had everything with the six: the Gatorade, the shoes, the gum, the the blazer, the Hanes draws. He had everything, bro. You can't like, bro. You can't the number like, bro. It's like telling a nigga Mike ain't Mike, bro. Nigga gonna argue Mike against any nigga. It's gonna be Kobe. It's gonna be Braun. But nigga not playing about Michael, bro. The numbers don't lie. The shit he brought to the game don't lie, bro. That performance shit, there was a lot of niggas rapping. That performance shit, Shorty brought it, bro. Him and, him and Sam, like two of the four, him, Sam and Rex, like two, two of the forefront niggas that just by looking at you and saying something. And Rex got that later because Lex was more a lyrical rapper, rapper back when he was a younger nigga. He started swagging on niggas and, and all that a little bit a little bit later back in the URL. But in the early days, it's rapid fire, nigga. I got a hundred a hundred balls, a hundred clips for this nigga. I got him back in the back of the back of the back of the back. Rex playing with this nigga back there. I'm just holding, holding, just holding. Rex was doing everything. He said, "What, daddy?" Uh, hey, Cole, you remember uh, when he made his family um Lou Castro? Not not him, man. You remember um Charlie Clips about Lou Castro? We was at that joint. I think Surface supposed about right. And I I met him man for the first time. I told him that. I said I said you want my favorite, but you got to give it to him. He the best that ever did it. He Michael Jackson and shit. He the Michael Jackson, bro. It's two niggas, bro. When it listen, hey, Cole, it's starting to look like some madness. And it's, it's another nigga, bro. I keep trying to tell y'all, this niggas too defined. <laughs> that nigga too defined, bro. And like I said, y'all get mad at me. Y'all let that man listen. This is what I. That's what I want to get at y'all niggas. Y'all let this man say all type of shit with my name. Then when I'm going crazy on his ass, y'all talking about Cola hating. How the man that violated me in every way after sitting in this space. Y'all hearing a nigga dick eating from himself. Cola this, cola that. Let's do a girls party and all this. Y'all heard him playing all type of shit with me. It's recorded. This is what I don't be understanding about you niggas' mind. These same niggas. You always hear the truth. Oh, you oh, hold on, in. Danny. These same niggas, okay. Remy, that they hear down me and they try to run down on my name, be the same niggas you done seen me sitting in they same space. They get high praise. Tweets. I can show you tweets and all type of shit with these niggas. That's a real nigga. Woo woo. But as soon as I say something they don't agree with, now nah, I'm being biased. Now nah, they don't fuck with me because I'm true enough to tell you as a real friend, I don't like it. I tell my mama I don't like something, nigga. I swear for God, I don't give a fuck how much I'm going to get ass whooping. I told my mama if I ain't my own like them shoes. I always spoke my mind because that's what they taught you when we was little. Speak your mind, pronunciate, be very, nigga, the fuck you talking about whisper. I ain't going to say nothing behind your back because I don't know how to whisper. My whisper is loud. Damn, fuck what we on. They heard me. I don't even want to whisper with you. <laughs> they heard me. <laughs> for real, my lord, nigga, they, they see in this culture, bro. It don't be that niggas don't don't uh look at the situation. If a nigga don't personally like you, it don't give a fuck. You could be as right in the situation you want to. A nigga still gonna be on the other nigga side. You could be as right as possible. Because a nigga all what we call that spiritual hating. Yeah. That's when a nigga spiritually, he don't want to really directly hit you. So he gonna spiritually amp what somebody already else got against you for their own rightful cause. That's a spiritual hater, bro. But Cola, I want to ask you something. What's up? This dude? shit kind of weird to me with him, man, and Verb, because it's like they history, and it's it, it's so confusing. It's like Hitman been sitting on this shit for a minute. I gotta commend him. I gotta commend him. He been, you know what I mean? He been doing his own thing and he moving forward with like, bro. And then you all talking him. about a nigga? Listen. Because we talking about a nigga, y'all in there letting a nigga sit in there and talk to y'all about unity and being together. 
when yeah. he's supposed to be the nigga that claimed it started, but he never asked the story when he the nigga who turned against it. And his claim is all them niggas start fucking with niggas. No, because them niggas beat you and you didn't get in that house like you wanted to. Okay, when you beat math, it's cool. When Clips beat your ass, that fucker, that tarnished your bags of, of, of selectors because niggas play with you. It's no other than when a nigga be like, bro, I ain't one of them niggas you can play with. They play with you like you one nigga above and that fucks with your ego. After Clips beat you, all them niggas, the serfs, all them niggas play with you like a mid nigga. Even though you top tissy, y'all don't see that. Same. I'm going to tell you like this. They almost tried to put, no disrespect, I mean, put Ver with Cortez at. Legend got all the accolades and did battles, this, this, and that. But Ver mouth just didn't let you do that to him. Mm -hmm. But if they, if they could, that's where he'll be at. Back. That's where Back. he will be. Cortez, he's Back. Cortez without the promo. With promo. In, in the, I'm just telling y'all the real because look at the numbers. It hurt, look his at the, head, it, hurt his, it hurt his head, man. And he can't figure that out. That's why he still took out the battle. And the big, no, bro, that big juror was your one factor that you needed to close that battle in everybody's mind because Hitman was on your ass, boy. But now, Cola, I fat, Cola, what I'm asking you is, I found it crazy. But look, like, look at Iceman and them. Ice, Ice Pack, fire. Like, they never hated on Hitman or. Like the calicos, the Midwest shit. Like niggas don't hate. So where is this coming from? You gotta remember. Bird? You gotta think right. about it, cause Vir was the first nigga that I declare war on the own mm -hmm. on the ship. He is the nigga that went in there, and shot the generals, and took over the castle when he went at the top of the castle. When he yeah. went at the top of the castle, he went at the castle. But when he was at the top of the castle, it's everybody follow me until mm -hmm. he got stabbed. King Arthur mm -hmm. met, met, met a forbidden soldier and clips fucked him up. And then Hitman, after that Arsenal battle, Hitman went to another fucking level, man. Mm. It was Wheezy out of here. Over everybody. Mm. Mm. You got to think about it. From the, think about the first 48. All that shit when he battled Big T was already going viral with Hitman. Hitman with the designs in his head. Mm. Hit man with the braids. You heard what he told him. That's why you got to go back to the battle. War War was yours, but it was technically mine. I've been oh. him. Who you talking to, boy? I helped your shit build. I've been helping you get money. You steady talking mm. about another battle. I helped you get money with the battle. I had War War get money by being the biggest nigga over there. I helped all this shit that you got get money. How the fuck hey, you hate on me get money? Me up the most? You know what fucked me up the most? Hit man said yesterday. He said. Nigga, I stood behind you even when you was with Shy and they was playing you out. And I knew you was snaking me. And I was ready to ride for your ass. That shit fucked me up. That's because, again, you had already got out and battled all the niggas. You had, you had everybody. It was fuck everybody. Pay Verd was a real thing. He was going at everybody, even the own soldiers. Now you look up in this damn time, and now you back want the war to go. And now you want everybody to be to put their soldier suits back on. And no, bro, in that time, new niggas was crowned. New niggas was deemed. Again, bro, let's not get it from shotgun. Them, them four years in between that, the boy was on freeze. He made it was battling, but that shit didn't mean too much of nothing. People were saying he was talking rapping about stars, hieroglyphics, and shit they didn't understand. That's what the culture was saying. Let's not, let's not fucking forget it, bro. <laughs> y'all listen. The only thing changed this dynamic. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. On my mama, it was a blessing, it was a gift and a curse. The curse is my homie had to go to jail. But that was the best thing that happened to A Bird was Sue Surf going to jail. And that's on my mama grade, bro. That was the best thing that happened to oh, his career. Oh my motherfucking kids. That was what? the best thing that happened to him. Cause before oh dude went to jail, his oh ass was walking in mud. Oh my God. Y'all know I ain't lying, man. That's why it's always surf. I said the money, but that's always money. That's why he always bring them up and try to use them against other niggas because that nigga had your career in the palm of his fucking hand. Tell me when I'm lying, culture. Y'all want to talk lie. about the other shit. Tell me, fuck me. Listen, lie. you ain't got to like hey, me. You hold up, Cole. I ain't going to take it even further. I ain't going to even lie. I'm kind of mad my nigga went on spaces because when my nigga went on spaces, all of a sudden when he hit, um, he hit Jersey, he got a drop. Niggas sent right to the location. I feel some type of way about it. I mean, I like you know what was going to be was what was going to be. Not, not, you know what I'm saying? Not, like, that's not, when, them, when them, we know, we all know that human rights are real life. When them people, when them other people on you, them people on you, it's only so much time. And that's just period. We've seen niggas get caught 50 years later. When they on your ass, they on your ass. It's just too much shit of what's going on. But what I'm saying is when it came to these spaces and the shit of, we already know that man didn't, that man looked at like a fucking a, a, a pebble to a mountain when dude was out here, man. It, it looked at like the Lord. He was at his lowest of lowest when dude was on his ass. And y'all know it. I ain't lying. 
Took it, the, yeah. took the idea, kicked him out the car. A val, you talking about a nigga getting valid? That's why when I be seeing nigga, nigga violate you, I seen nigga say a pull up on you. Never seen to use that event with him. Never addressed him about that. Also seen the nigga you let say take your whole idea and the money and do whatever with it and say fuck you in your face and have a finished product. You didn't do nothing. So when niggas be saying all this, what you didn't do? And a nigga said this. The same nigga I seen after that, New Orleans in my phone and all shit I could prove that I don't even care about because that's my nigga. I'm gonna fuck what you say about it. Cause we had a cause we had a back and forth same way me and Easy about these niggas that's been on my phone that I talked to on a regular. I ain't never had that type of relationship with no motherfucker A bird to even care. And again, none of them niggas actually from my city neither. We got a nigga that actually know you since y'all was little. Since you was young and he was young, who you are and who he is. And he on your ass and your traits just been showing out in the public. And everybody been synced this. You being a snake, sneaky motherfucker, ain't nothing, ain't no surprise. We synced that when you tried to go at everybody. And then you needed Hitman for them two on two to get back when you was in a little rough place after after losing. Then you go up there and lose the gym. You've been you've been one of our most successful, but you've been one of our most embarrassing as well. Like let's let let's we can talk about it. Like y'all don't want to get to the real. Y'all let a nigga talk and use other niggas to define what niggas said. But these are the same niggas with high praise out their mouth for you. G, we got clips too. You gotta understand, niggas ain't sitting on these interviews and now, cause when niggas come on, what they saying? Respect, woo woo, but oh, it's not respect now, cause I don't agree with you. Fuck you, nigga. I ain't gotta agree every time with you. And if you mad about that, and once you start violating, fuck you, nigga. Like I owe you some. I don't owe you shit, but the but the truth of the situation, you've been hating on that boy, G. You wish you got the love he got. You don't get the love he got. I feel so bad for him, man, for real, because he held that shit in for so long. Two things, long. man. You got to understand the difference between love and attention, man. Niggas ain't showing you no love. It's just attention. That man held that shit in for a minute. He ain't want to do that. I can tell in his voice he ain't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, his shit. voice was strange. He like, man, I can't he even hurt him. Because it's like, it's, it's, it's like, because you got one nigga speaking up and how you got one nigga really like, bro, we at this shit again. It's the same shit you did every time, bro. First yeah. time. You ain't shit but a hater, bro. A nigga I let in my house. A nigga I let meet my parents. See, this shit mm. deeper than what y'all. See, y'all. See, y'all trying and to. And my mama telling me. <laughs> my no, mama yeah. telling me. You feel me by low. See, niggas trying to dig. Niggas trying to say me meeting a nigga online that never really met my parents or maybe just know of my kids and shit like that. Uh, that, oh, this nigga. This a nigga that's been in a nigga house. In my house. This a my nigga family. been in a nigga house, yeah. fool. My family, my mom, my kids, my dad. Like, come on, man. Come on, bro. Shit shit come on, bro. Stop a bad. You gonna call a nigga, tell a nigga that can pay me, man? What? You fuck if you the main event or not, bro. Get your money. If it's St. Louis, what? if it, it can't be all St. Louis, yeah. St. Louis, and now nah, St. Louis niggas able to come get a bigger bag just because, oh and God. you know what his, it ain't like this a nigga been on the couch. This one of the biggest battle. So that should have been like, yeah, bro, get ARP, give him that money. Especially when you coming out here telling us fans, y'all forgot, fuck yeah, we up in a pay-per-view and we doing this and we getting to the money. and oh, this the, That's like a top oh. lobby trying to interview you. And Tone Bro and Polo and them hitting them up on the side like, nah, I don't interview that nigga. Like, what? Like, what? I'm, I'm building up the fam. Like, I'm not <laughs> going up there for me, nigga. I'm, I'm going up there for us. Exactly. What are like, you talking about? Like, hitting running old St. Louis on his back. This shit crazy. This shit crazy. When they was kicking you out the whip, dragging you, dude was coming back battling Tay Rock. Dude was coming back uh battling shine and, 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 and avenge and, and all that. Like, bro, the nigga, the, man, I'm telling you, bro. That boy ain't, man. Come on, man. Hey, that nigga slipped his Rolex in his side motherfucking pocket online when you was about to battle Shine. We seen it. And, we seen and it. you got to, and you better be thinking. And again, we got to, bro, you are, you you do got a motherfucking halo around your head. Because again, we wouldn't know what would be going on you without Gerald. For real. If you ain't have a front man, we don't even know. Like, yo, bro, like you, we got to get to that. We don't know what a nigga be doing if he ain't have a front Girl, man. Girl, old girl making me feel some type of way because the fact you said, oh, no, I feel some type of way because a nigga coming to your head. Hold on, bro. Hold on, girl. If Hitman was a fake nigga, he wouldn't even came to you. So for you like, oh, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know what the fuck going on because that man got in your ear. Oh, you oh, talking no. about when he said that he asked him as he hey. lined him up? Yeah, that was exactly, exactly like I feel some type of way about Jer. Like, hold on, Jer. What type of shit Bird got over you? <laughs> fuck you talking about Jer? Because for real, we don't need your money either, nigga. 
Battles gonna happen. And one thing about this community, we gonna back this shit up if we want a cop to happen, nigga. Fuck you talk about. I, I'm feeling some type of way about Gerald too. Yeah. Fuck out of here, nigga. Go play football, bitch. Hey, that nigga, <laughs> hey, that nigga <laughs> said. <laughs> hey, no, go he play is, football. He don't even pop in the league, nigga. He no. but, but he switched the tone <laughs> though, man, because he. Uh-uh. At, 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 at first, at first, hold on, daddy. Hold on, daddy. Hold on. At, 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 at first, it was you know. At first, he was. Uh, hold on, hold on, daddy. Let my boy Ruby go. Hold no, on. no, fool. But I was just saying because you know at first. Now he talking about man, it's weird. Why would I say I, I control that man money and shit? But but we all know what was going on. We was talking that shit when when the battle with Swamp was finna happen and how he control the money and all of that shit. Yeah, and, that, bro. and now today you backpedaling on that shit. Like no, why would I say that? That that's you know his money. You both why would I see that man? Listen, <laughs> they don't give money. a fuck. I can see in the see you keep trying to make it regular sense, but then we guys no, you can't split it up. I don't give a fuck if Hitman was going to get paid more than you with what Hitman have done for the culture, period. He's a St. Louis nigga. You should have said Zippo. Now, I can see if they trying to put a Mook, a Lux, a Surf, a Tate Rock, or somebody over you now that the shit been booked and you like it's opened up and I need more money. But this is your quote unquote man's, right? That's what you saying to us. Guys don't even. So you should have been cool with him getting an extra 10 more than you, which is deservingly. So he's deservingly more than you, my nigga. You acting like, yeah, when the car was locked, you may have been a main event. But any car opened up and they say Hitman on the car, bro, he's worth more than 99% of you niggas. What the fuck are you talking about? The, the return is he instant, hit the bro. return. And they, they said, uh, they said, hit man, I'm hit man sorry, baby. The right fact right that you trying to hit like on you. that man, shit, I respect him, man, so much. He said, I want to end my shit on you all real. Oh my god, that shit hurt me, bro. He admit, you know what I mean? He said me and Beezy talk. You are like I'm starting to feel like you tried to make Beezy and him man be. But I mean, but him man said to him man said I already was talking to Beezy. I was playing the game to get it going. You tried to make me feel like you the reason why they was beat. This shit crazy, man. Oh, hold on, Danny. Listen, but that's what he said. Like just relax one time. Don't get over mad at these niggas. Listen, these niggas got money. Listen, at the same time, that's what he was saying. Like, bro. First and foremost, like again, you keep even when he started trying to say you fuck with him, I don't fuck with him. You yeah. nigga, all the niggas you don't fuck with is because you made yourself not fuck with them niggas. niggas like it ain't like niggas me. started, it ain't like somebody started something with you, bro. You went and busy them after you felt like they ain't want to give you a, a payment to start writing or some shit. And then you turn back on AIP because before then it was you had knocked AIP out, but synced him and shook his hand. That nigga said, you talk to Beasley. I don't talk to Beasley. Why the fuck he gonna cut his hands off? Because you did. Yeah, yeah Why? you dis- and, and then you dis- <laughs> AIP. Bro, everybody been seeing you. Battle loaded Lux, but we ain't gonna talk about that. You been, we seen you dis- AIP come on Smack. We seen you this Smack go back on AIP. Boy, you talking about friends and Boy, your oh. ass ain't gotta hold the damn bone in your body. It's for the money. That's why you talking money now. Hitman wasn't talking that money. Hitman said, fuck that ring and all that. <laughs> Nigga, St. Louis, uh, Atlanta, where you at? <laughs> so I'll pull up to St. Louis today. What fuck that you that talking that about? Where you at? Is, he's he's right in though. old space right now. He, he said... You talk, about, you talk about 100 niggas pulling up with um St. Louis baseball jerseys on real authentic fucking jerseys for Hitman, baby. Like, Hitman won't lie. He didn't lie. If you go to events, he's not lying. That's how Hitman pull up. We know. We listen. We know, bro. Y'all all listen. This is what I'm saying. See, everybody be knowing the truth, but it's like you don't want to disappoint. It's like it's like no different when your cousin be lying and shit. Y'all go somewhere, your cousin start lying and shit, but you don't really want to tell the other motherfucker he lying because his family is like you told him, but he lying like a motherfucker. Like, man, I know this nigga lying, but fuck it, I got to lie with this nigga. This nigga that made me lie with him, cousin, bogus as hell. Like that's how it be. G motherfucker got to lie with a nigga, like. When you with me, folks, it's no different than what what when you with me, folks, and folks one with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Remy? Really? Like, folks, wait, why you vote? Yeah, yeah, I was with folks ass, G. Folks one out of mind and out of sight. Folks don't even know what he talking about. He was with me with. He just he just taking one for the team. I could have been just killed a nigga. When you with me, folks, folks, hell yeah, G. We was over that shit. One about nothing. We we didn't lie like a motherfucker. So we come on, man. Damn, Cola, man, this shit lit though. I've, I've been waiting for this. Man, it is ain't. This, it, 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 listen, I ain't been. Is this like a rematch? 
Man, it's Hitman just, say he don't want to do no motherfucking battling. I don't think it's going to oh, happen. Oh, this is real. Happen. Yeah, yeah, that nigga say I don't want to do no battling. I don't want to do no shotgun silk boxing match. I want your weird ass to just leave me alone, bro. Uh, That's what Hitman saying. Like, bro, I don't want to uh, do nothing of nothing with you, bro. This shit weird. You try to stop my money talking about a pay-per-view or whatever this shit is. You're bogus, bro. You don't. You don't play with a nigga money, bro. Like, it's not to look like this nigga that fucked up battle rap for real. It's just surf been gone, nigga. Wild now, battle rap did been tainted, bro. Like, surf, bro, like, salute to surf, bro. I can tell something's going on, and surf was quiet because he a real nigga. He had some real shit going on. And he came back, he came back to battle rap, and that nigga was wild now for us for a Y'all forgot was, that last day, bro. Man. Listen, oh my God. you ever been to, you ever been to a christening where they put that water on the little boy head and then? Listen, put the cro listen. That last day before Sue Surf officially got locked up, you remember he after him running verb ass through the through the through the through the grass, he went in there and made peace with him. Man, I fuck with you, man, because he knew you know nigga just, just you know when a nigga going through it, shit, just making all his rights right before you know what I'm saying. He got to deal with to make shit won't build. So he went in there and just and that's when Verb started getting a little bit more back heat. And then my mm -hmm. boy disappeared for the show for show. And then everybody started buying into that shit. You had a lot. One bat, one, two good battles and three mixed thinkers. Mm -hmm. But y'all let it survive. And now we, we here. Seen. We seen. Now we, we here. We saw. Now we here. Salute the um, salute the hitman, man. 2024 bringing it out. 2024 bringing it out. Salute the hitman. I'm proud of hitman. He been holding that shit in for a minute. The underlying conversations you having with niggas, and I know, I know what you say about me. You hitting me up, I'm pulling up to your events. You not showing up for my shit. Like that's, do you know how that shit feel for you to ride for a motherfucker? They don't even show up to your battles. Hey, bro, we done been there. Mm -hmm. We done been there, Cola. That nigga up there with um Cassidy. You won't even there. Nick Cannon showed up. Like and then, uh, and then again. You know Hitman is in that bitch getting a thousand people in that bitch in order. You talking about some, you see, he ain't standing on stage with none of Bro, he ain't got time for that shit, bro. He pulling up with 200 niggas. You got time for that shit because you already had this in your mind because he, you already know like what Hitman was telling us. He not fucking with you like that. And you know that because of what, way before that money situation, he wasn't fucking with you like that. Hold on, Danny. Hold on, Danny. Man, I'm sorry. Listen, the nigga wasn't fucking with you like that. So at the same time, you already know that I'm just doing this shit because I got it. I don't want it to make it to even fuck the situation up. So I'm going to humbly just take my disagreement and put it to the side just for the situation because this shit ain't about just you. I, I fuck with Young Eel. I fuck with the other niggas. That's why I'm in this picture like that. But bro, we not going we not going to act as if you just like, oh, well, I was the one who stand behind the man. I'm the nigga that leading them forward and no, bro, you let Eel go on stage with his with, with white shit on his lips and look like a crackhead. I don't give a fuck how much of a picture you was painting. That was not a good idea as a leader. You was never supposed to do that. You was never supposed to do that, bro. Fuck out of here. Air time is the get back. It's one of them niggas you use. This is ill in the two on two or hitman in the two on two or a nigga redeeming something that yo, you get your ass with by gems or somebody like that. <laughs> come on, man. You done embarrassed us more than you to put like, bro. Y'all niggas try to better. Come on, man. Stop fucking playing. Yeah, they fuck ice pack up. And then you be screaming ice name. Oh, my. All the time, like you in the best interest to try to act like no, you just more battle rapidly inclined because niggas doing shit. Fuck with no fucking crackhead sign on, like fuck nigga. And y'all know how I get down. Like hell no, nah. y'all know ain't no way, ain't no way. That nigga hit man. The hit man said I went in that space. Why you ain't want to talk to him? You talked to us for three hours. That nigga pulled up on your bumper, on your on your front step. He laughed right now, and he he laughed right now on this shit, and his voice, his conversation. That's why I put up on your shit. I ain't even know you was. He laugh. said, "You I'm say my name, I come put blood in his mouth." I ain't hear, I ain't hear him say your name. I'm talking about how his conversation. He real low and he calm. That's how I know he guilty. And when you when you right, you turned up. Ain't no ain't nobody gonna lie on your name, bro. He came out with the master manipulation. I'm gonna give him all yeah. praises. 
I'm finna, I don't want to look like a hater. So I'm going to uplift. I'm going to uplift. I'm going to act yep. like he's crazy. His attitude was, was the, I'm a play yep. on that the coach always say he's emotional. So that's every verb ain't shit but a fake psychiatrist. He's schizopolar. I keep telling y'all that he's crazy and don't know he's crazy. He but think now, he's okay. Albert Einstein. I keep telling y'all this shit, bro. The boy is really off. Verb, you mad because he ain't take you with the um with um wilding out. Why would he take you? That boy been no you. Bro, well, can't though. nobody take can't nobody take nobody nowhere. You got listen, you can give me a job. You can give me a job interview. But I still got to clear that interview or do that job, man. And that's right. just life within itself. Everybody keep acting like, can't nobody take an opportunity for you no no more than they can give it. They can give you they can, they can give you a chance, but they ain't give you the opportunity because you still got to gain the like opportunity. You, can, you, can, do you feel like you're jealous, though? Do you feel like you're he jealous? Been because, again, Verb is a nigga that want, listen, you got to understand, Verb is a nigga that want the Ric Flair intro. You know it like I know. He's a motherfucker that his ego go off the love. And it ain't how he playing. He don't when, when the motherfucker, he want trumpets and all that to, and, and bass drums to be going off when he come through this motherfucker. It don't go like that. He don't get nothing but rocks thrown at him here and there. Motherfucker may throw an egg or two. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't one of them just kings or one of them motherfuckers that you they see him coming through the thing. He ain't like they. They still call him Dutch. They think he's a Dutch. He's a Dutch. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, man, that nigga hit man said they be calling you gay and everything, and I still rock. Oh, that shit fucked me up. Uh, hit man brought that shit out. He couldn't take it no more. He couldn't take it no more. He said nigga ain't never called me gay, nigga, and I still rock with you. Oh, oh, it's old. <laughs> it's old, bro. It's so yeah. You and me, you and me, bro. <laughs> No, I ain't. I again. I ain't never seen. I ain't never seen Verb with those type of activities. Yeah, but no. he do it's mention. No, but he do. Like but he do be mentioning a lot of other people activities as much as possible. I'm just gonna say that uh, in a lot. Yeah. You yeah. have to chill, bro. I'll slam dunk you know me, Cole. I'll slam dunk that. That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'll slam dunk pretty Ricky shit. For real. He say, and I, right, bro, ain't nobody trying to be in y'all. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. St. Louis brothers. Ain't nobody trying to be. Is this your, uh, Ain't nobody trying to be in y'all inner circle, bro. We didn't ask for this shit. See, what I get mad about is when niggas come getting at us like we was on this bitch and we started and got them here to be fighting and arguing. No, if St. Louis was on the time they was yeah. on, I don't. I just said this the other motherfucking day. I just said this the other day, St. Louis and y'all acting like a motherfucker's got them beefing. No, they got them nigga beefing because, again, Hitman said, I told Gerald to try to get Gerald to get him on the phone. Gerald said, no, your man Aver went to the internet that made your other man from St. Louis, Hitman, respond. You need to be hollering at your compadres instead of us, bro. Y'all steady keep saying, y'all talking about our inner circle. You know, your inner circle brought it to here. And they steady elaborating. Your man say he got his round two and three ready. So he been ready for war. He planned this. Yep. Verb say I got round two and three ready. Yep. Fuck is you talking about? So why y'all keep saying us, bro? We was just chilling in our cribs. I'm pretty sure Shuni and all the motherfuckers in here didn't know nothing. D-Will, we didn't know nothing about him, man, and Verb beefing. I've been new because I know energy. I've been yeah. saying this shit in my blogs. Man, the man kind of jealous of that yeah. nigga. Everybody, yeah. nah, call these niggas is mad. I've been saying this shit. We, you we can see it. how it be going and how niggas talk when they come uplift themselves and forget everything else the others, the Calico. That's the same problem Calico had. Yep. That's Back. the problem these niggas, all these niggas had. Like, bro, yo ass, bro, I can't wait to... So don't just say in-house. Y'all try to act like y'all. If y'all was keeping it real, we would never be here, St. Louis. Don't do that. Your mans did this. The nigga y'all trying to fight for and act like y'all business. Your man brought y'all business, which is supposed to be the adult, which he said Hitman was the younger kid that grew up. He's supposed to be the adult in the situation. The adult in the situation starts side tweeting the nigga when y'all know Midwest niggas yeah. go direct. Y'all, he should have been direct from the beginning. The Not only is you side tweeting the nigga, you trying to stop the bag. Come on, you trying man. to stop my legacy, nigga. Why? So get at Why? so get at your mans when y'all be screaming this. Cold of in, in his family business, and we minding our business. Well, we was minding ours too, telling the guy on spaces and told the world, nigga. You better know it. What the fuck y'all be talking about? Yeah, we in. We involved. What's wrong with these motherfuckers, Shuni? 
He ain't motherfucking get mad at us. Like, we went and, 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 and I just came I here. And, and I, I got on here and said, well, you know, a -Bird told me he in tour with Hitman. And I really want to see that. And them niggas, oh, I'm happy they beefing. Bitch ass niggas, I ain't asked them niggas to beef. I ain't asked them niggas to be in tour. I ain't asked them to we even come here and do none of this. We don't even want this shit. I don't even. We don't want this shit. Somebody had to tell the truth about this nigga. And they told his ass. Nigga, you been hating. You been hating. Nigga, I been over you. You can look at the views, the numbers. I'm better than you. You know that, nigga. You was ice cold when you came trying to find me, and I'm your biggest battle to date. 4.5 million. You ain't reached one. You ain't got more views in that oh, sense. Let me ask you something, though. Do you, you feel that way? You feel like Verb was hating on him man the whole time? What you mean? Why wouldn't it? If a nigga, a nigga, came, a nigga came and surpassed the nigga, mm. he was the nigga. Mm. And then Clips hit him in the head, and then Hitman Clip Arsenal. Mm. And Ver was they got it too. Ver was supposed to be at that battle. We forgot what he said. The nigga told me all the way up to that date he was gonna be there and all that and this and that. I called him the day to fly out. Mm. No call, no show. Hitman told y'all that in the battle. Yes, Nobody was listening because everybody just focused on Big Joe. The nigga yes. called nigga father. Yes, he did. He said that. No call, no show. No call, nigga. no show. Nigga, you was acting like a call shaky no friend show. then. So it's oh. not funny that Hitman is saying it now. Hitman ain't saying mm -hmm. nothing to about this nigga that he ain't tell us back then when he battled the nigga. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Are them niggas, Verb? Chase them niggas back, Verb. He was on that nigga. Y'all forgot? It was so many hate makers in that battle, but y'all just remember. Y'all forgot that. Them niggas over there by the bar. Chase them niggas. Go chase them niggas back, Verb. Mm. Mm. That nigga said I was standing behind you. You won't never there. Like, come on, bro. Oh man, and it's like Hitman was hurt for real. Hitman won't talking no like hater shit. That man was like, I'm telling you what the fuck it is, nigga. Uh -uh. This nigga done did too much from the beginning. It's the same nigga that tried to destroy the Midwest. Talking about we building together and niggas don't stick together. And nigga, you started it. Y'all forgot. Y'all better go do some history. Yeah. Now you trying to use that man ego and that man the his persona against him. That shit weak. You trying to use his what everybody else say about him as knowing him because he exposing how you really are. Is that shit weak? That just isn't that, that that's just what that is. That shit is weak. Hitman ain't got no fucking ego. That nigga got an ego. Hitman cool as a motherfucker. Super approachable. And then you try to get mad because he let me up. Don't be mad, nigga. I'm doing my job. Nigga, I'm my, my job is to blog, analyze, and call it how I see it. And I'm definitely going to call on facts. If I wrote a story as a journalist, and now my story coming to full sight about what I've been saying for a couple of years now, and, and nigga telling you since 2018, we've been back in tour. This six years ago. I've been talking about this shit for about the same time. When niggas thought I was crazy, blind, and stupid, of something was going, I can feel it. I'm like, it just don't. It don't be I, like, bro, it don't, unless them niggas on the car the same, that's when you see St. Louis in full. When Verb on the car by itself, hit me and he lost three niggas there. Or two women. Verb said he only hang with y'all niggas. That nigga gone. When that nigga hit me on cars, that nigga Verb hang around in there thing. That nigga be all in the mix. I'm just telling you the real. And then couldn't nobody really be with nobody at one point because COVID was... Overhead, everybody on some solo dolo shit. He ain't want to shit. He ain't want to share a circle with a motherfucker. So let's be all the way D flop Claire. The man out of pocket, G. But I got more. We don't even want to hear no more, G. You hate it on that man, Bizag, fo. Somebody offers you 10000 That's good money for three rounds. Shit. Got me fucked up. Shit, nigga. I'll rap. Yeah, Ver told y'all here. Y'all got a nigga talking about... Y'all, 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 y'all absolutely right. Y'all got a nigga talking about who tell you he a snake, you fuck you, I'll tell you, and all that in your face. Oh, in your face. <laughs> <And> <laughs> <laughs> a nigga that told you, fuck y'all, I tell you, I don't get a fuck about you. I don't care yeah. nothing about you. And, and, and then now he wants you to believe that his sincerity about this. Man, shit oh. me. Man, you can't, man, shit, man. You can't tell me a duck ain't a duck and a cat ain't a cat, man. And the dog ain't a dog. Y'all motherfuckers lost y'all, man. He told you. I think I didn't think the man. I just think three letter man be one of his goodest friends and he shit on him. 
For real. I done seen him get down on my nigga three. For no would you reason. See, would you want to see Hitman rebattle um Bird right now? No. Me. The first one was good enough. I don't want to see no rematch. No do hit me. Like, bro, don't nobody want to see that, bro. Yeah, me. What the fuck? Is this nigga fucked up or something? Like a nigga trying to get a mega match. What a nigga trying to get a <laughs> nigga trying to get a this one to be really worth the money. Like, bro, what a nigga trying to nigga fucked up or something? That's what hey bro, but they say that about him. I think Surf said it. Surf said every time you go on broke, you try to solve an argument. <laughs> 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 That's what Sir did. Every time that nigga go broke, he tried to start an argument with a nigga to get the bag. He said it before he said, nigga, this Christmas money. He never lied. Sir definitely said this. Sir said, every time that nigga get mad, he's going broke. He tried to start an argument with niggas. I'm you now. I ain't fucking with you, bro. I'm you now. Nah, that nigga Sir definitely said that. Every time that nigga give it, look, watch him. That nigga Sir said that. Watch him. Every time you get fucked up, he try to go find something. <laughs> Read away, G. <laughs> he definitely told us that. Hell no, man. Come on, streeters. I don't know. You got to stop the cap at the cash out. I don't want to argue with nobody. I don't want to. Listen, and you can't be one of them fake saying, I don't want to argue with. They did it, bro. You got to send me a message or something saying what your vocal point is. Like, I'm the. You don't follow me, I don't want to do no talking with you. I'm not arguing with none of you niggas that's in the cut trying to come explain to me why one of your mans is getting down on one of y'all mans and y'all mad at me for talking about it. I'm bad in this bitch. You outside, you been down this, you been down this shit, bro. We we 10 years deep in this shit. Like the battle rounds. Fuck niggas talking about. We ain't worried about none of that. Say what you want. You got a right to speak your speech. You really care about this shit. Oh, my baby. We really care about this shit. This shit, this shit stopped real shit we had going on. Fuck that. And we not about to let nobody play with our baby. <laughs> Battle rap our baby. Period. Yes, sir. Uh, they got to get this shit right, Shooty. I don't want to see no battle, though. Fuck that battle. Again. Stop hating on that nigga. Y'all both go y'all ways. All this shit is over. Bill Collector, Bill, Bill Collector can't get a battle. They didn't duck my man Bill sixty times. Like, damn, bro. Everybody didn't try to book you versus Bill. Like, what the fuck are you running from, bro? He ain't fucking with Bill. He ain't fucking with Bill. He ain't fucking with Bill. Bill, they did nothing. Nobody but battle, but rap good. Yeah, he ain't fucking with that. Niggas Bill want if niggas want a challenge right now. Bill Collector the challenge. Bill Collector been rapping his ass off. Bill gonna break him down. He ain't fuck with that. They don't want to fuck with that. He don't want to fuck with that on my baby. He don't want to fuck with that. You know a nigga that know you. See, you want to battle niggas that don't know you. Bill know you. Yeah. I know you. He don't want none of that Bill collector. I know you. And look, and your man that that socked my eye, nigga. (laughs) Fuck you talk about. (laughs) Yeah, shot the bitch. They got past that, Danny. Relax. (sighs) Nah, I'm I'm just saying. I'm, he fucking with him more than that nigga. Yeah, because again, motherfucker, you gotta understand. He's a real nigga. Fuck. What you gotta understand is people grow. Exactly. People get older. People get wiser. You know, people get more mindful of shit. But at the same token, the disrespect gotta stop for the line gotta stop for him. We gotta really put this shit. We got to really put battle rap in a in a standard of it's only one nigga down there at this point where even the numbers can't stop what he doing. And that's, again, that's Tay Rock, G. Tay mm. Rock is the goaded nigga in this bitch, bro, on his yeah, back yeah. year after year after year. No breaks, yeah. no stops, no. He's going, Tay Rock is going to be like if they ever write battle rap in history. We got the, um, you know me, you know I'm he, He's an irremovable nigga at the he's, end of the day. He's the face. He's the face. Yeah, he's about. just one nigga. If you wanted to tell a story, and you could damn to go find everybody's story from, hey, is his story. That's what. Yeah. Say Rock. What happened, Cody? Is we still on? Say Rock. The best, the biggest.
Surf gone. Surf be home soon. We be back soon, y'all. Surf, surf be back soon. He gonna make this shit all better again. Facts. When surf ain't fucking with battle rap, shit get fucked up. We gotta admit that shit. My fault. Slight, slight phone call, uh, brothers and sisters. I know, nigga, because you ain't shit, nigga. You know? <laughs> and then we hey. got kids in college. I get it. Yeah, the quick phone call, but look. But, bro, listen, bro. At the end of the day, I ain't can't, I just came to call bullshit, bullshit, y'all. I ask you another question, though. Do you feel like when Surf gone, Battle Rap change? Like, even when he home. When he fall back from battle rap, you feel like battle rap get weird, and when he come, he don't, weird. he don't never fall back because he champion this shit. Mm. He ain't, he ain't. They, see, what niggas gotta understand, Surf ain't a, nev, a nigga that never fronted on this shit. Like that's mm. what niggas fella realize. Must he make pop his shit? He ain't never fronted on this is what he do. He ain't never fronted on. I'm one of the niggas that trying to make battle rappers seem bigger than battle rappers. Like we can become artists. We can. His goal has always been for artists. Like, that's one thing you got to surf always been for the culture, like uplifting it, moving it. You know what I'm saying? Being for it. But other motherfuckers, even from niggas making crews. Think about it. When the niggas made crews, all the crews start coming and mm -hmm. shit like that. Like, not saying they went around, but they made a lot of shit cool doing the numbers. He made niggas have to. He made niggas have to have numbers. Him and Hitman was from the first two. I get a million in clips and all them. Like, that's why when niggas be saying I got a hundred thousand and. All that shit cool now. They done moved the back then. You couldn't talk if you ain't have a meal ticket. Like, bro, who the fuck are you? You ain't did no million to be talking to us like even as a battle rapper to the fans, you couldn't talk to us like that. Like, bro, you ain't you ain't no million of you, hey, nigga. Cola. Hey, Cola, what niggas don't understand about Surf is he probably the biggest student of the game and fan of the mm -hmm. game of this shit. Like he ain't mm -hmm. never left the game. He always been taken away from the away game. From the game. Like, he ain't exactly. You feel me? He just went to jail or some shit, but big he's one of the biggest advocators of the game. So so I don't know him like you know him. I met him, I'd have been a writer, but I don't know him like you know him. So he really loved this shit. Man, dude, bro, y'all talking bro, yeah, a lot of niggas don't know. This is what I'm trying to tell you, uh, Danny. And I don't go for what is this shit could bring tears. A lot of people don't know that dude, man. Emotional than a motherfucker. We all are though. Yeah. He's an emotional human being. He takes shit to heart. But most hood babies do. Because we depend on a lot of shit coming from where we come from. You got to understand that being where we from to understand that when you talk a hood nigga. Emotional than a motherfucker. But when it comes to the love and care of a nigga, just a human being, dude is an outstanding member when it comes to that. Looking out for a nigga, being for the best of all them words and shit a nigga try to get caught up on, man. Dude is one of the most beneficial motherfuckers. That's been a part of multiple people's lives in a multitude, and he didn't affect a lot of people's lives without being right there as a as a as a next to him. But just just the the mindset mm -hmm. that, that's a smart motherfucker, man. Mm -hmm. Nigga can talk all that shit about the way free. That's gonna be forever, my dog. Don't give a fuck what you already say. I don't see a wild shit to my brother. That nigga, nigga gonna be gonna forever. Be I ain't gonna lie. I thought when I met him, I thought he was gonna be arrogant, you know, because the the way people build him up and treat him. Man, when I met that nigga, Matt Howe was flying some type of way. I met him at the little obby. Hey. He wasn't even there. He showed up for him, man. And Matt Howe was flying. I was like, oh, my God. I wanted to take a picture. I said, Matt Howe flying. He said, don't worry about that, baby. You good. Come on. Hey, oh, listen, though. Listen, up, though. Man. Listen listen this, though, Danny. Fuck me up. A nigga tell you, I don't like niggas. They arrogant. Woo -woo. But when you look at the average black man, what do we come from? Shit. No hope. No nothing. So when we finally accomplish when we finally accomplish our shit to talk our shit to motherfuckers that didn't beneath us and didn't then drown that didn't count us out, what you think we gonna do? We gonna hold our head high and poke our chest, nigga? Who the fuck you talking to? That's the point of leverage, power, and fear. Mm -hmm. To be able to poke and pop your shit to let a nigga know, like, what's up? Nigga, I, yeah, you thought you thought I wasn't gonna beat the odds, nigga. I beat the odds. That's something to be celebrated every day. And if you call that arrogance, then you just lost in your own perception, just mm. beyond our own human race. How the world then already told y'all, nigga. Ain't, don't they say we the thirteen percent? And the way we down, we might be at eleven and ten right now. Mm. Fuck is I'm not arrogant for when these people that took everything and, and 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 I was supposed to be a casualty and a nigga not make it to twenty five or eighteen, and you telling me I'm too arrogant, bitch, please. Mm. 
That's what's wrong. People want to humble you on their terms or for their liking. People want to bring your spirits down for their own like him because he too, he too full of himself. Well, bitch, you need to get more full of yourself. Oh. oh. That's what's wrong with people. People will tell you another motherfucker too full of self, but you're not full enough of yourself. That's why you question who you are and have so many insecurities of yourself because you're not comfortable. And your, your uncomfortableness makes you question my comfortableness. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, too, you mad that I'm too comfortable with who I am and you're oh, not comfortable you enough with yourself. Hey, Cody, you might gotta have your little own segment, nigga. Hey, man. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, I be talking to these people for real, for real. They just don't hate the bravado. But I'm one nigga gonna keep it all the way straight flat with you. You do? And you a cool nigga. I don't think people are cool nigga. nigga. These niggas don't understand that. Danny ain't never wrong with a nigga. Cole the coolest fuck y'all. Y'all see Cole that little short nigga. He cool. He be one of the coolest niggas in this culture. G. Niggas don't. Shout out my nigga. Bro, any nigga have met me in the person on the floor. No. Bro, I don't fuck with nobody. I I don't talk this much in person. Anybody that tell you. I'm not in no nigga face trying to get an interview. I smoke my weed. I vibe. I drink my little couple of drinks. I host a little bit. And I get the fuck out the way, bro, because I'm a I don't I don't do well with people. All of y'all niggas tone and pull up. Like, yeah, we don't for after the event, we go do our own one too. We don't go, you'll barely see us. And the one night I, I told you, you my first time. Like, fuck. The one time you see me at Geechee Crib, I'm gonna tell you why I was there. Cause my plane was at five in the morning. And I was like, fuck it, ain't no point of going to the room and going to sleep. So I'm going to go here, 3 in the morning, go to the motherfucking airport, and just go ahead and get the fuck up out of here. So I don't go fuck with nobody's shit unless it's convenient to in the plan of what I need for my purposes, and then I'm out. Bro, I'm a loner for real. I don't fuck with you people. People don't do nothing but beg and ask for shit. You super much needed. I want to give you your flowers. I'm about to go ahead and leave out because I know I'm getting on everybody nerves. I love y'all. Fuck them people, Danny. But I want to give, you, now I wanna give you your flowers. You're like, I know y'all niggas. Like you're very much needed. Like we, I don't think people understand. Like we graduated to something like battle rap because it keep us from out that out that bitch, bro. It has saved know, a lot of lives. That's what man, I told my folks. It saved our lives. Like it saved a lot of lives. You know, that man, time. You believe it, but you know, like man, battle rap helped me. Like I'm, I was going through some real shit. I was gone. You know what I mean? Shot the COVID helped me with my case. I was gone. Six years, it won't no talking. You know what I mean? And I got to meet these niggas during that time, and they was good niggas. Like, you know what I mean? Don't laugh at me, Shuni. Hold up. Let me talk about shit. I'm drunk. I don't give a fuck. I'm ready to go off. I'm, <laughs> I'm turned up. I'm live too, bro. I'm ready to go off on niggas. Hold on. Let me talk. Y'all need it. your love. I know you. We know this shit. This our shit. And it hurt. It hurt to watch our shit dying. This our baby. Like, they playing with our baby. Like, we pull up. Shooting like you black bitch. Like what? Fuck you talking about? I'm out. I don't know what the fuck going on. Hey bird, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Figure right, it baby. out. Figure it out, baby. Go to the drawing board. Hit man. Finish it out and go the fuck on. That man. Big money. Fuck this shit. And you're big money. Bobby, small I saw you DNA. DNA posted some shit. DNA made a tweet. He said before I leave, he said, like. He um kind of like not feeling appreciated, kind of like shit. That's why he ain't woo -woo. he did what he had to do. DNA, you are appreciated. You are God in this shit. Don't you? I don't give a fuck. You like Rich Porter, nigga. You one of the flash nigga, coolest niggas laid back. Don't you ever think we don't just we don't respect you, nigga. DNA, we love you, baby. We love all y'all, all y'all battle rappers. We love y'all. All this other shit, these that's hating shit, bro. Get that out y'all, man, bro. We all going through it. We feeling it. I'm drunk as a motherfucker. You know it, Cola. I don't give a fuck. Salute you for letting me pull up because a lot of people don't let me pull up because I be drunk. I don't give a fuck, bitch. No, I fuck yeah. with you. Fuck them people. Yeah, and I fuck with you, you bitch ass nigga. We're going to talk later because I got a problem with you. We're going to talk off the same. All but right. anyway, nigga, I love y'all. Shooty, turn up. Fuck y'all talk about. Hey, where the fuck is um? All right, Danny, you said jazz gonna leave six right, times. Go on, head up out of here now. Oh, I'm drunk. Now y'all. Yeah, you jazz hold up out of here. <laughs> nah, I shout out my sister, Danny, man. I fuck with Danny. 
I don't give a fuck what nobody say about her. I'll fuck with Danny Lux. Period, point blank. Always gonna fuck with us since the beginning, G. Shit, everybody get on somebody's nerves. You know what I'm saying? Shit, somebody get on somebody's nerves. Shit, you... Shit. Somebody put the same way you feel about other motherfuckers. You get on my nerves, shit, you get on my nerves. It is what it is, y'all. But at the end of the day, tonight, bye, guys. It's gonna be a fucking movie. Y'all all know the vibes. Me and my boy Polo, we're gonna break this shit down. I just came back. I don't wanna do the A-Bird with y'all. I know Hitman over there getting bitty. Adam Ski, you already know the vibes. Salute my nigga A-Boy Lance. Cardinals gonna be ass, boy. I ain't gonna lie, y'all got my boy out there from Boulder, though. That receiver from Boulder, he gonna act a fool with them niggas. Y'all got out there. And I also got my young boy, Marvin Harrison. So y'all might be all right. Bear down, though, nigga. You know what the fuck going on, boy, Lance. Don't act like you don't know, nigga. We gonna, hey, man, too, when I come back, we gotta talk some football shit, G. Little basketball shit. I seen the nigga Reed. I was on his heels. He got, he, he's out there cooking Bronny Nim. I seen niggas on me. Oh, Cole, nigga, I'm talking about longevity. But we gonna get to that. We gonna come back with a little sports space when this shit, all this shit air down a little bit. Because I want to get into my Angel Reese rookie of the year and all that. Niggas hating. Even though Clark, she put on a couple of games that's like that, like that. But at the same time, I got to attend to some things. And NCAA at four. We taking ass whoopers and, and, and taking names, bro. We don't want to hear it. Listen, get your match up. Big Michigan. Y'all already know how I'm riding, nigga. Big Michigan. Go get any one of them niggas. Nigga, El was know we coming in y'all shit and we getting active. Nigga, Big Blue. Nigga, 100,000 plus in the big house. You already know the vibes. I already got my scouting list. If you go to Fat Boy down my wild, shout out him. I already put my, my notable signings. So I got all them hats on the table. You know, Oklahoma's, Ohio State, Michigan. But y'all know where I'm going. But I got multiple destinations for multiple players. So, yeah, yeah, I'm a gamer. And don't try to say you. I started with the video games. NCAA back, ladies. So don't be mad at your nigga when he put that NCAA 25 in football. Go make him something to eat. Roll a weed and let that man be in the house where he should be. Not outside where you think he cheating, fucking around and doing something. Let that man play his game in that man cave. And get up with the guys on the mic and curse at a couple of niggas and do a couple of little betting and don't be in his way. Yeah, shit, you can do the game for him. Damn, babe, you got the game, I got the weed. Go do something for a nigga, man. Rub on his back while he throwing a touchdown or something. Let it rub on his head, see? Nigga want to look, uh, let him play the game. That's that's Y'all always say y'all want to say, huh? I just walk with you, babe. I just, it ain't got to be nothing serious. Well, sit right there while you play the game and, and ask some questions and, and, and rub on him, man. Get the weed right and make sure the cup of juice still feel when a nigga get thirsty. Is this too much, ladies? Or am I doing too much? Is that right for the fellas? Fellas, I'm getting y'all right right now. Because I think that was a good assessment, bro. You can spend time with I can, She back down. Okay, damn. This is a, spend a couple of hours then, you know, get a little, put a little watussy in there with a little razzle dazzle. And yeah. But it is what it is, man. Hitman over there and my, and my boy O for Street Status Space. Y'all pop in with Green Ranger and all them. And listen, big speaker out to the night, man. Meet us on that bar, guys. I know Polo got a whole lot to say. And y'all know it's going to be heated because he finna be talking that motherfucking A-bird shit. You know he with the controversy.